Hi there guys. Anybody know what special day May the 1st is for me? That's right, one year living in my van full time. Okay, May the 1st is an anniversary for me. One full year uh, living in my van full time and one year of retirement. They're both on the same day, May the 1st. If you look back at my videos, the very, not the very first one, but a few of them uh, in will show that I May the 1st was my first day of retirement and my first day of living in my van full time. So uh, a couple of people have asked, like, do you regret anything? Is there any anything that you regret doing? Sorry for the noise there, guys. Uh, anyways, I, I don't have any regrets whatsoever, and I know a lot of band dwellers say that. Um, but for me personally, no. I don't have any uh, regrets. I never thought about a lot of things, like um, once you're in the van, you find out there's water problems, power problems, uh, toilet, shower. Uh, well, if you don't have a fridge, I have a fridge. But there's those things, um, toilet and shower. Well, there's toilets and showers everywhere. Um, I My unit has a toilet in it, it has a shower in it, I've never used it. I always use a shower or a toilet at uh, like uh, fast food places or garages or what have you or community centers or uh, YMCA's, uh, wherever. As far as water goes, well that one there, yes, you have to uh, make sure you store some water. I have a storage tank. I don't know, 50 gallon, 100 gallon, I don't know what it is, but I don't drink it and I don't, I don't even actually use it. Uh, if I want to do the, my dishes, I just use uh, bottled or water that I have in uh, gallon jugs that I get from community centers or from, uh, you know, like taps somewhere. You can get water everywhere. Uh, power, well, I have solar panels, so I'm not so worried about power. In the winter, believe it or not, it's still not so bad. My journey was to go across Canada, visit my own country, live minimally, uh, and discover who I am and what I'm doing. I have some friends that went, worked all their lives, went into the hospital, they got sick, and they died in there. And I didn't want that to happen, so that's why I moved in the van and, and that's what my journey was about and when I went across Canada it was more about uh, where I was, what I was doing in that city. When I got to Vancouver I was very static, I wasn't nomadic at all, I wasn't moving around so the videos weren't anything to do with living in my van. So I hope to come up with a little bit more of that. Uh, I've had nothing but an awesome time I've met some absolutely wonderful people. Uh, when you're living in a van, you meet new people all the time. Uh, you meet them at the community center, you meet them at the beach, you you, uh, you see another guy that, oh, there's a guy look, living in his van, and before you know it, we're talking to each other, and we're, we're friends. I wanted to go out and, and, and visit uh, Canada and see what I was missing. I've only been as far as Alberta to uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and now I've been to the East Coast, put my feet in the water, in the ocean there, uh, moved my feet across the singing sands, went all the way back past Alberta here, back, uh, to, to Vancouver, and now that I'm back in Alberta again, so I've actually been across Canada twice. And uh, the van held up very well. I did have one problem in uh, Prince Edward Island. Uh, I had an electrical problem 
and in Vancouver I really didn't need it but I, I thought I sh could use some new brakes so I got new brakes put on the front and uh, that's just been about it and uh, okay well did I save any money as opposed to living in a in a home uh, yes I did I don't know the numbers uh, I'll have to keep track better if I want to know the numbers but uh, my rent was like seven hundred dollars a month and food and and then I had you utilities and and uh, all that other stuff and now I don't have utilities I just have gasoline as far as uh, my rent goes food I don't consider as a uh, as anything because I, I have to eat no matter what so I don't consider that I don't pay utilities uh, if the van breaks down well that's extra it hasn't yet so I've saved there and uh, so I, I, I don't know the numbers of, of how, uh, how much I've saved through the whole year but uh, I imagine I've saved some money uh, when I first started out I wasn't saving much at all because I was doing a lot of traveling every single day uh, probably over budget on, on uh, fuel uh, medicine hat is at the moment a dollar twenty five in your higher places for gasoline in Vancouver it's something like a dollar when I left there it was a dollar sixty five somebody said they saw like a dollar seventy for fuel um, I think they estimate like two dollars uh, a liter <laughs> two dollars a liter or gasoline coming up either this summer or this fall in Vancouver so the more you sit in one place the cheaper your rent is uh, the more you move around while well, your rent goes up so now that I'm back in uh, Medicine Hat I'm not gonna stay here uh, I had to get uh, insurance cleared up my taxes cleared up uh, a few other things license plates uh, a few things like that but I am going to go to like Calgary maybe Edmonton uh, I have to meet some friends in Drumheller some Van Dweller friends that I've met in uh, Vancouver uh, they live in Edmonton and we're going to probably meet in Drumheller if we can some somehow sometime and I'm just going to tour around here uh, go to Saskatchewan not all the way to the east coast again but uh, that might come next year again uh, I don't really want to tour in the States at all so that's that's not in the in the uh, foreseeable future here anyways uh, what I did do with the van is I took the windows out <clears throat> let's just go have a look at that I took the window out it was kind of leaking it not, not I, my van didn't leak very much at all in the winter but just enough to annoy you but I, I took this window here out and uh, resealed it. New, new seal around that thing there. Uh, this, this thing here was looking really awful. I've, uh, my, that's where my fridge was behind there. I don't have that fridge anymore, so I've just got these two holes and I just painted it white around there. I've taken this door out, resealed it those windows I have not done yet I don't think I'm going to there was no leakage in those so I'm good there that one either uh, the awning I've had the awning out once before I even set uh, set out on my travels I put it out just to see if it was good if there was any cracks in it or anything like that it seems perfectly fine nothing wrong with it at all <clears throat> so if I ever get to uh, do some camping I may use the uh, awning you know just sit underneath it when it's nice and hot now that's another thing uh, hot and cold Vancouver wasn't very cold at all I coped with the winter no problem I can't cope with the winter in med medicine hat here like they had minus 30 below for like uh, two weeks or something minus 40 
uh, living in a tin can like this, that's just about impossible. But I found that it's probably harder to deal with the heat than it is the cold. Uh, if it's cold, you can always pump up your, your furnace, uh, get, your, get your furnace going. Uh, I put in a, um, a Chinese diesel heater, one of the best things I've ever done with this van. Uh, I did away with the propane heat, puts nothing but moisture in the, in the air. I don't get any condensation whatsoever on my windows anymore or anywhere in the van. It's nice dry heat. Um, so you can heat your, your unit up and uh, it only costs you a minimal, uh, minimal amount for, for diesel to get that to go and you're, if you use your uh, onboard furnace, well, you're, you're paying propane. But I can deal with that. Uh, the heat, you can only take so much off clothing that is so you, you can sit in your van uh, completely nude and that's all you can take off and you got to have some fans going and uh, uh, air circulating or something but uh, I don't know about Vancouver I haven't spent the summer there yet but in Medicine Hat here in this area when it's hot and there's no air movement you better find some shade or uh, leave your doors open and sit there in the nude I guess I, I really don't know uh, like I said, you can only take so much off. In my opinion, dealing with the heat is harder than dealing with the cold. So actually, I've had nothing but an awesome time uh, meeting new people, going to new places I've never been before. Uh, and the, and the, biggest, the biggest thing is um, meeting new friends. Well, it's winter time here still. It's May the 1st and it's like cold. We had snow here the other night and blowing so hard that uh, my van was rock and rolling all night long. I got up in the morning and uh, the whole side of my van was just covered with ice. And it blew so hard, it, it, it created a, a, a s little slit somewhere. The snow was blowing inside, inside of the van and on my, on my face. I felt some snow on my face and uh, blowing in and I thought, what the hell is going on here? Uh, I looked behind the wall and there was uh, accumulation of snow in there. It just finds, the wind finds the little cracks and uh, we have geese flying up above. It's a little windy. I was probably looking for a place to land here. Oh, it's flying right overhead. Uh, anyways, um, so uh, I appreciate every single one of my subscribers that I have. I uh, appreciate all you guys very much and uh, for anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you're watching my videos, Please subscribe and uh, click on the little bell in the top uh, right corner as usual and uh, then you'll be notified whenever I do put out a new a new video so you can uh, be the first to, to see it. Well, I think the video is going to be absolutely pretty long. I'm going to have to cut it up and cut some things out. Nobody wants to watch a 15, 20, 30 minute uh, video. So it's time to make some supper. Okay guys, thanks for subscribing and thanks for commenting. Love the comments. Uh, I love to hear from you guys because I can interact with somebody. Uh, I don't want to just uh, send out a video and have no comments at all. That's, uh, I might as well be on the other end of the camera and just video things and, and, and show you what I see. Uh, so comment, thumbs up and please subscribe, ring the bell, talk to all of you guys on the next one.